here today is another another beautiful day again to go through some basic secret of the Wing Chun side. I put on last a uh, couple of days ago on to the movement of closing the gap. Okay, so when I'm teaching on this kind of movement here onto our training program, student asking about using Wing Chun if you got one at home using the Wing Chun. How can you close in a gap mindset or learning to, to adapt to the situation? The basic thing of learning is learning to controlling your opponent arm where they are. Then second thing you need to learn to understanding is the basic bong sao. This bong sao here is learn to whole body came into the technique, okay? Technique. If you're watching this video, you will see that onto that lesson, you can see the idea on this side, okay? While you are learning, it's got no sound, so you can see the visual while I'm teaching you, so you can learn a lot more better as you go through. If you got any question at all, comment below this video here, and I will be here to teach you and uh, answer your question. I will go through the technique a little bit more slow, a little bit like how I've done into my training program on to end so that way it's easier for you to follow as you follow this okay so the basic movement it learned in this training is to understand about the bong sao now as you can see the bong sao you go like this or the body the body have to turn with it this is very important because this bong sao is not just about turning your opponent but you are upset their center line while you're using your body to pivot from the ways, okay, to divert your opponent out of the way. This is important. Learn to understand that. This particular hand, the Wu Sao, you need to learn to understanding when you came in, your hand have to be in this position because this is where you contact the movement, okay, here. Okay, this hand is attacking as you can see line attacking the eye as the hand come in this angle because if they move you are few you are flying across so as they came they're already engaged with you into the combat zone okay in that zone so they move your move with it this is what i'm trying to talk about fight move people move some of the students asking about if you are doing this kind of movement, it's easier if somebody's standing there. They don't do anything. So for you to do the movement, of course it's easier. You have to realize when we're teaching, this is teaching, learning. Teaching, the basic of it is controlling and learning. When you're dealing with your opponent, your enemy, you don't practice like this. When something happens, you're already boom, cross, move, bam, bam, hand here. As they're coming in, five move, people move. So as they're contact with you, you're already, the, your enemy touching, shouldn't they're touching already, boom, cross away. The hand attack straight away, then hand, hand, movement straight away to control your opponent right away. As you control them, principle of the hand is already in line coming in, as you can see, each of this form up to the uh, Wing Chun side, it built for this movement here, okay? As they come cross attacking and you control them. So when you're working with a dummy on this technique here, the secret of the dummy to translate into self-defense or into the combat of your choice because it doesn't matter what style you do, this dummy will help you a lot to learn. So first you start with a basic low bong sound. Low bong sound is certainly, say the nine come, you're turning the whole body like this together to deflect the weapon, okay? Then this hand, as they come, you control, you control, you control them, okay? Come sound control them and then this hand feel where they are as they're moving okay so this is why the hand open like this i control so the movement so as the low bones 
you learn to understand about this hand. Tanda. This is lesson you can see on this uh, video I'm talking about. Tanda and closing the gap. When you tanda, then you got need to have this hand called pressing hand. You have to press your hand into your opponent and control them to keep the pressure into your enemy. Keep the pressure. Shouldn't keep the pressure into them. You will feel how their movement. Okay, this is sensitivity training that you impact. And then soon you move, you move with it. That's why fight move, you move. You move along with your enemy. And then when you came in, you got need to close the gap. For closing the gap, you need to understand about your footwork. Okay, your footwork, if it's not in a right place, it's very difficult for you to push it forward into your opponent. Keep pressure on them. As they come, you keep pressure on them. That's your enemy, that's here. It's very difficult for them to try to do movement. If this hand moves, you control using this hand. But when this move, you're already coming in for the elbow, you're attacking already. And this is what this dummy who helping you is generate power on this movement here. And then you control the hand. Body, waist, positioning, okay? And then you attack, and then you attack on it. As you're turning, your whole body coming in to control the whole body of the center of your enemy come. And this movement onto the bong sound is very important. <clears throat> You're diversing all the punching coming in, you move them out of the way. Okay, and then this hand learn to control. So when you start to learning to understand this as you coming in, like on this tanda, this hand is in line. Tanda, build out, yeah, tanda. So that's why boom, tanda. Tanda means it's like block and punch. Tanda! Ah. And then soon, soon you come into this movement. Boom! I like that coming in. And then from here, your hand, boom! And then straight away, tan da, pills out. That means it tan, block and punch, straight to finger to the eye. That happened very, very quickly, okay? So this is the, the lesson. If you like this kind of style of teaching, like this, comment below here, and I'll tell you more about it. And if some of you, really interesting to learn to uh, want to make sure that you can able to understand the training and apply to whatever you're doing. Because our system, you don't need to do Wing Chun to be able to do it, okay? You can do any kind of style. I, I can apply this or help you to apply this technique into your style. May you become a lot more better as you're moving because the principle we uh, embedded into you. And if you want to learning, the Wing Chun, as I teach them, we have that available as well on our, our training program that I'm doing. And into the membership area, we have all this in our website with helping you to go through from each level, one level at a time, and each one is a constraint, different thing. So this movement here concentrate onto the dummy, but also it's helping you to concentrate onto the self-defense size and apply this into your self-defense training. Okay, it's the principle of it. The body of it is always in line. Okay, so incoming in your block, your block, you attack. So the principle of it, it doesn't matter how they come in, they have to attack you. So while they come, you're working the same. As the punch come, you intercept. Elbow, see, intercept. The hand, as your hand here, your elbow coming in already. And then the hand movement coming in right away to attack. So the principle of it, you can apply to all sort of different martial arts you can be used on it. So this is important to learn. Bong sao, tan da, bong sao again, high bong sao, this one here, and then come back, chop. Now this is again, the chop, the hammer fist, the elbow, the principle of this exactly the same. As you are go through the training, and learn is using this method to adapt into the self-defense, okay? Because when you adapt to it, you can make your movement work for you. As you're dropping them, all your hammer fist to the jaw. As your hammer fist to the jaw here, you can follow straight away, elbow, 
and then chop and then punch. So the hand of all the basic movement you'll practice is applied in everything that you need to do. Closing the gap into the self-defense is important, okay? So throughout our training, I will apply all this stuff into it. So if you like this kind of a um, little bit slightly different kind of a um, training, a little bit more explain to you with more in more detail about the training, and I can see how you do in the movement. And if you any of you interesting to do some training, let me know uh, onto our, our website. You'll contact me. Let me know. Then I will start to uh, apply and get you more into it, and then get you more to start do some training into it, and that way I can help you to develop better that way okay so anything else you want to ask me comment below here if you want to uh, ask me about coaching or to become instructor or you like to be coached by me okay then go to our website masterwong.tv or masterwong101.com asking me send me the message there or on this um, youtube platform here send me the message and i comment you as you know i comment you all the time on this in my experience into the Wing Chun side a lot of time is the movement you've been practicing since you practice the dummy if you come from a different Wing Chun lineage for instance you practice dummy as you're doing them for instance okay all this movement you're doing that's fine as you're doing them to apply this kind of mindset or this kind of training into the self-defense perspective or into your day-to-day -day life, okay? It's a lot, a lot of thinking, a lot, a lot of um, apply of your training into it to make it functional. Because into the training we talk about all the time, the way you do anything is the way you do everything. If something happening, you respond at once, okay? You respond at once onto the movement because you see the threat into the self-defense side, see the threat. If there's a threat, it's so high, and you are aware of what everything going on is really need to get into it and get to do some work, then need to make sure the movement. As your palm, your palming, you are attacking. This is control, and this is attacking when you need it, and you control at once as you work with the movement there. Okay, so anything you want to ask me, comment below this video here, and I will be here to answer all the questions. So today's lesson is very simple. It's learn to understand the lay bong sao movement, pan da, high bong sao, drop or hammer fist on there, drop or hammer fist onto the movement there. Okay, and that way it will helping you to learn to get your body in a good position and become a lot more better. Master Wong here, have a beautiful, beautiful day and the sun is coming out now. Let's get start training. Get ready. This year it's going to be very, very tough. There's so much going on, the chaos in the world. So you got to get yourself better. Get your mind in the right place. It's very important. It's helping yourself to make sure you understand what's going on, affecting yourself first. When you get affecting yourself to learn and understand the basic, then everything else you can help others to do the same. Master Wong here, have a beautiful day. Out.